amazing. How you doing, buddy? Stuff. Very well, sir. How's yourself? That's sounding well. Where are you from? I'm from, originally, I'm from Colchester. That's the oldest town in Britain. In Britain? Yeah, it's, it's even older, apparently. It, is, it, uh, is it an insult <laughs> to say you sound Scottish? Well, it would be to a Scottish person, yeah, <laughs> but I don't mind. <laughs> 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 now, yeah, that, that is a that's a great accent. That's like mm. a heavy. Is that like a, almost well, a Cockney dialect? Kind of, sort of Cockney, but uh, really, one <laughs> yeah, one tries to sort of stay in touch with one's roots. You know. <laughs> is it a, is it a blue collar uh, accent? It, it sort of is, you know. But it I is. can get right posh when I feel like it. It depends who I'm talking to. See, you know? I I can't uh, <laughs> discern the difference between a, a, a blue collar British guy and a, like someone who could be in royalty. It sounds the same to me. Yeah, it's all the same. It's, it's years of inbreeding if it goes across <laughs> all, all the social strata, you know. Uh -huh. Now, th th that's a great, unique uh, style of music you have there, man. It's Thank probably, you. What I, would you I, call I stole that? it from many unique uh, sources, <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you got to steal from the best, man. Oh, yes, definitely. What, uh, what would you call, uh, what kind of music would you call that? Can you call it anything? We, I suppose, uh, for want of a, you know, a proper uh, label, we, 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 we bung it under soul. I think so, we call it soul music. I like yeah. that, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's definitely, you know, it's kind of, we pretty much wear the influences on our sleeve, you know, and we can't really claim to have invented any sort of genre. So we, we... I'll try to guess a little bit. Elvis Costello an influence? Oh, obviously. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, it goes without saying. Right. And, yeah. um, English uh, What's his name? Scar. Yeah, bit, oh. bit of Scar. Yeah. There, there you go. Little, yeah. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> first, <laughs> first, first wave Scar, the good stuff. Yes, the yeah. proper scar, not the stuff that we we were doing. Uh, Explain right. scar. Definitely not. Scar. No doubt. Yeah, He's a full scar? No doubt is scar. Uh, scar was after. Are. Are you can explain it or not. Yeah, I'm not no, sure. You, no, guys, did it, you yeah. guys did it right. Um, <laughs> scar. It come after blue beat and before yep. rock steady. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes. Really? So what does that mean? What's blue beat and rock steady? Well, <laughs> it's when you put the accent after the dames. You know all this rubbish, don't you? The, where the beat goes. It's um, chet, chet. It's on the second. Yeah, part of the, the beat. It's a technical way to call it's, it, but it's between Chris. bum tip, bum tip, bum tip, bum tip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like blue eyed soul and rock steady. We, we don't call it blue eyed soul because you know that sort of like it might imply we're white or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't want to do that now. That's Yanks in it. <laughs> now are all these guys uh, from uh, Britain as well. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, so most of us. We've got one uh, Irish fella on the drums, that's Dave Mason, and we've got one fella from Philadelphia on the organ, Mr. Kyle Kohler. Oh, there you go. That's yeah. a good combination. Yeah, oh, yes, great, <laughs> great ethnic mix. Irish and Philly, I like yeah. that. Uh, so, now, you've been together a long time with these guys? Yeah, 20-odd 20, uh, 20 years for oh, most no kidding. of them. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, it's a life sentence. You I could have done a murder. Yeah. <laughs> I still might. <laughs> you got now, your eye on anyone? Yeah. <laughs> we noticed uh, some of you guys at least uh, like to partake in some Guinness and stuff like that. Yes, one in particular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, how do you guys do? You find drinking and drugging helps your uh, your. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it helps us, but it doesn't help the audience. But did, you know. <laughs> did you ever have issues with that stuff? Oh yeah. Well, it depends. I mean, there's a terrible, terrible drug scene in London. It's really, it's really expensive. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you gotta that, go outside. That's the issue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> New York, too, believe me, you gotta go to the right places. <laughs> um, but so, are you on the road constantly or what? Uh, this year, it's been absolutely constant. You know, it, it did get a bit quiet. Uh, towards the end of last year, we were scuffling a little bit, you yeah. know. Seems that every record we have to come out, we've got to, to work it to death on the road, you know. So uh, this year's been full on. It's been brilliant, actually. So this is Minute by Minute. Yeah. It's a, it's a new album. Yeah. And uh, so uh, how many albums have you put out? Uh, this will be, be the third one anyone's heard of, you know, oh, wow. because... Uh, in it, America. It was, yes, America, right, basically. Right. <laughs> you know, the world, i.e. America. So yeah. the first one was uh, People Gonna Talk, which came out in 2006. Yeah. And then The Hard Way, which uh, rose without trace in 2008. And then... Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then <this> but before <laughs> that, I mean, in the early 90s, you're playing in Wales and Van Morrison walks in and says, yes. you have to come with me yes. and tour. Basically. So, wow, you toured with Van Morrison. We did. We went on uh, went on tour with Van Morrison. I, uh, did, uh, I was on one of his live albums, the San Francisco one. Yeah, now, he's amazing. Nice. He's yeah. amazing. I'm a big fan, but I heard he is a special kind of lunatic. Yeah. Right. Yes, yeah, that'd be fair to say. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. what, like, what a voice! Well, you, you two are similar in the sense that you have like such a unique voice. Yeah. 
Well, he, he's lucky in a way because he, being from Belfast, he's got that sort of vowel sound. That yeah. He, he can sing in his own accent and still sound authentically American. Right, exactly. When I come off, I've, I've stopped being Junior Wells on stage. I come off at a Michael <laughs> Caine and everybody goes, what else? <laughs> yeah, I know, that's with, true. With it's Morrison, crazy. it's seamless, you know, so. No, Van Morrison sounds like uh, a black guy from Harlem. You he know? does, yeah. That's what he sounds like, or, or, or even Mississippi <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you hear yeah. Tupelo Honey and you go, wow, it's it's got to be, you know, a black guy from the from <laughs> on the Mississippi River. And you look at him and he looks like, well, now he looks like an accountant, you know? It's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, now, so you open for him for a while. We opened for him and I also did this little guest spot, you know, where I'd walk on and do whichever song we might have in common, you know, yeah. that, you know that I might know. That must have been fun. <laughs> It was brief. Yeah. <laughs> All fun stuff is brief. It was it, it was fun. It was a great laugh, yeah. actually, yeah. You also got to tour with Aretha, right? No, we did one gig with her, and that was enough for her. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> it's a full tour. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, she was, uh, as always, totally on form, you know. But we did, I think it was Baltimore, I think, and we did one, and... Uh, and um, we, we didn't meet her, but Bernard Purdy came over to us afterwards and yeah. said he'd enjoyed it. I thought, that's yeah. not a bad little uh, that's recommendation. Great. Uh, yeah. How long ago was that? That's about six years ago, something like that. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, when you uh, you got to book a tour with Aretha, of course, there's health issues you got to worry about. I mean, you're like, well, I'm all right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she recently had a scare. <laughs> it's been up. She recently had a scare, right, where she like her, she just crapped out her gallbladder or something. Is that right? right? Yeah. <laughs> and then she was fine. I'll tell you, that's like rich people, they, they know the doctors. Like, okay. she she was on death's door all of a sudden, and she's fine. She's on, like, the Today Show singing. Well, I'll bet that... Goldbladder's gone for a few bob now, isn't it, on eBay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been in. I haven't been in right now. I this place, bet you this place with Aretha Franklin's gallbladder in it. <laughs> well, we got the English telephone booth. We don't know why that's here. It's just... I, I thought you'd laid it on for us, but they, they told no, us you had They got a good deal on it, so they, I think they brought it in here. It's if they oh, want to call home, right? Yeah. Is there anyone you want to call? Want to call Hyde Park in the middle of the interview? I'm scared of those things, because they're, they're... Aren't they... According to some folklore, aren't they bigger on the inside than the outside? Oh, the yeah. Tardis, oh, Doctor yeah. Who reference. No, that's, oh, you yeah, get me. No, no. That's Aretha mm. Franklin's gallbladder. <laughs> <laughs> that too. What the, you know what? I feel I feel good every time. The band does such a great idea, uh, great job. Could you, could you introduce the band real quick? I certainly yeah. would like to. Kyle, that's Jason. Jason, that's Damien Lee. The organ player is Mr. Kyle Kohler. Yeah. Good He's job. Yeah. We got Jason, Mr. Jason Wilson, a double bassist. Nice. Yeah. nice. And Mr. Dave Mason, you, who plays drums. Ireland, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Damien Han, a tenor sax player. Good job. And our token cockney, we have Mr. Lee Beddo on the yeah. baritone sax. He is a cockney. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys are amazing. So, where are you off to next? Where, where's the next big gig? We are next. We've got uh, we've got BB King's tomorrow. Good gig, man. Right yeah, in Times Square. Well, yeah, that's where it's, see, it's handy for the shops, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah perfect. <laughs> and after that, we're going home for a jolly good rest. All right. I think we have got another one, but uh, Chris, what? What's the news? One after BB King's. He's crap. <laughs> you know what's great about you guys? You play amazing you music. You got stage you know, one, <laughs> Fairfield, Fairfield Theater and Fairfield Connect. Fairfield Theater, thanks, yeah. Chris. Yeah. Chris. You know what's, you manager, you know what's amazing about you guys is you guys play amazing music, and then the interview was like a Monty Python sketch. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. Yeah. Hey, Chris, what? <laughs> this isn't is is an argument. It's a conversation. It's a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> How's this facility work? <laughs> this facility, how am I going to get it? You see that Monty Python sketch where the guy, he wants to have a conversation, but and he goes to an office to have a conversation. <laughs> the guy goes, I only argue with people. You want a conversation? That's down the hall. It's hey, a conversation. We're bantering. James, I got a question <laughs> for you. This way. Do, you do, you find, do you find that a lot of uh, musicians, uh, like musicians that we look at as, yeah. you know, the holier than holy admire your work because it's so it, it just echoes of you know classic r and I mean like you know the Sam Cooks and you know, yeah. do people do people compliment you for well, your we've had we've had from you know from sort of quarters that mean quite a lot we've had um, sort of embarrassing praise which is marvelous Who's your so embarrassing fan? I'm going to brag about it now yeah uh, right <laughs> I can Alan Toussaint I mean he you know he actually sang oh. some Alan Toussaint okay, who wrote yeah. everything yeah. I've ever heard of right, you know? sure. and yeah, um, uh, yeah he, he did a guest thing on our last album 
and just was, from being a fan. Yeah, it was a huge that's privilege, amazing. and uh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's and, fun, man. Well, that's, that, that's, what, that's when it makes uh, makes all the worth it, right? Oh, it really does, yeah. Yeah, you know. Uh, well, uh, much much more good fortune to you guys, and a lot of luck. Good luck at BB Kings. And do you do the internet? How can, can I tell my fans how to find you on Twitter or something? Oh yeah, we're, we've got we've got a James Hunter Facebook page. I James Hunter that, yeah. Facebook page. And again, uh, that was the yeah. James Hunter Six. The new album's minute by minute. Uh, get it uh, as soon as you can. And uh, I appreciate you guys coming in. Thanks, guys. Come back anytime. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on Directv.